that disruption, especially for the Kindred Ult, any sort of follow-up on Lissandra is going to be so good here. Well, we'll wait to see for the last few seconds before if that is going to be a poppy in the jungle or not, but good flex here. And then you mentioned it before the Gragas was picked, just so many good ways of getting everyone who's so short-ranged away from your carries, keeping them safe. And again, Seo did a fantastic job in that game number two to kind of keep himself relevant, even when he was getting jumped on top of. Yeah, and this is the thing. Bong hasn't played the Gragas this split, but it's still just such a good opportunity to play it. Like, it's great into the Jax matchup, because every time the Jax tries to go in on top of you, you can either slow him when he tries to pop the Counter-Strike, you can hit him with the belly buff if to do so just there. Adi is on the bottom side, Amir does have push, so maybe they can look for something with this wave on bot side, especially if that happens. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be able to get a lot more damage there on the style. You got Adi coming in, they know that he's there though. They're trying to put down more feathers, but they're just kind of backing themselves up. Style is ignited, he flashes away, but Adi is around. He's been slowed down, the flash in, and the kill is secured. All seven are on the board, and now Zin doesn't really have a place to go. He's gonna try and see if Miro can get on top of him, but he's just based a little bit more damage on top of them from the thing. Adi's very, very low here as Kati might look, try and go for this one. We see a flash away, a bong getting dove in the top side. He's not gone down just yet. Levi will be traded and fights on both sides of the map, but it ends up being a two for one trade overall in favor of R7. Yeah, it's a one for one of the top. Well, up immediately, this could be dangerous. They're looking to try and get this dragon as quick as they possibly can. Five and a half minutes on the clock. They will miss the Winter's Bite. And now R7 looking to try and capitalize on a nowhere to be found a Lissandra. And then the knockoff is fantastic. They're capitalizing on all of the missed summoners. And you can see R7 smell blood in the water. They know this is the perfect opportunity for them to get everything and anything they want. Gam were too slow on the rotation. They get the crash in mid, but they hadn't started. He's, he's here. Just being a nuisance for the moment. Levi is taking a fair chunk of damage. He now has got access to the Lamb's Respite, but would really not want to use it this early on. We'll get flashed in straight away. He can't even proc it. That's how quick he was killed. I am so surprised that R7 managed to pick up a clue and look for the the actual dragon, though. They will look for the bot lane on style, though, in the for meantime. They're looking for a dive. There's the ultimate out already at a style, and they're going to be able to... Ooh, it's a little bit of a mismatch, but they should be able to get the damage. No problem whatsoever, and Seo gets the kill. And then Zin going to be able to move into the spot side. I was going to say you kind of take your win there and look for the dragon. No Lamb's Respite with such a long fight after everyone went boss. No Lamb's Respite, but they do have a Shelly, so they get some plate money into Kiaya, but Bong might be also on the menu here as well. They're looking to try and go on top of him. There's a good explosive cast, and he belly bops himself away as well. The flash in, Levi will secure that kill. One more tower shot, and it's a deja vu in the top side, one for one. He's been killed there before. Kiaia will get a lot of damage onto this top lane turret, though. This no, no one from R7 to come up and help you here. They are just going to look for the full kind of setup as they look to try and burn him down once more. Explosive cast is good to knock back Kiaia. And he's going to be able to trade back a little bit better. Yep, that's going to be a cleaner dive from the side of Gam as they go back in towards that mid lane, almost getting down Miyuru. You have to give up all that pressure in the bot side, though, so you don't gain that kill in the mid lane, and you do lose a tower, so... Not gaining the full value here, but they will get themselves a kill and a bit more gold onto that Jax. Here needs to be very, very careful. Levi now coming across. Adi doesn't realize that there's such a big numbers advantage for Gam. It's a 3v3 though for the moment, and that's not a numbers advantage anymore because you have the Keeper's Verdict. There's a Lamb's Respite to keep everybody alive. A flash forward from Zin to try and do a little bit of disruption, but they're getting themselves all the damage they need. Lions is the one who gets exhausted, and that's not what you need. Goes in with the knockoff. They're looking to make this one a little bit more favorable for the side of Rainbow Seven, but it's just not quite got the damage. Seo has to go towards that top lane to cover for this Jax who was killed. This one here, he's so low and he just knows he's there so he's able to get it with the Gale Force and the Flash. Yeah, got window shopping a little bit. Both have to. There's a three as Gam bring them in. We go to 5v5. Dragon started. There's no real vision for the moment on Gam to see whether this dragon is going down. They will just burn this one as quick as you like. They've already used the feathers a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit one. Of the Peeper's verdict is absolutely beautiful. They don't finish off the dragon. They go for the fight in stakes. They you know it's a 3v5 for the moment. They need to finish off this objective. R7 are caught between a rock and a hard place. They don't know what to do. They're just being indecisive. And now Gam can come back in on top of this. Gam can get away with the biggest highway robbery you've ever seen. Seo gets jumped on, trying to flash away with the Lamb's Respite should keep him alive for the moment. A little bit of CC with the concussive blows and R7, you had everything. He gets the dragon. How is he allowed to do that? Audi keeps it just going a little bit, but Gam have been given a huge lifeline. It's the team fights again going the way of Gam. R7 all over the place in that fight. They tried to turn and then they just, they just panicked. I mean, it's just 
Ooh, actually, this is going to be Gam trying Audi to go sees him. Audi here. sees him, though, and they're going to try and jump onto Audi as well. They're going to see if they can get on top of him. He will go straight away, though. He's very, very tanky. They're going to try and try 3v2, but now it's not a 3v2. It's a 3v3. TP coming in as well. R7 are ready for round number two as they look to try and finish off these kills. Double kill coming in for Miru, and they'll finish off the Jax as well. R7 making up for that fight by getting their gold right back in their pockets. R7 said, I didn't hit. But this is the thing. R7 are not committing to Gam as they're coming in, so they're getting more vision. They're getting to the dragon and Aura 7 aren't willing to pull the trigger, so no. all that vision is for nothing. It's for nothing, and we're getting a little bit of poke damage down. Dragon down to 7,000 HP. They're going to try and maybe flip this one back. We know how good Levi can be with these steals. They're going to jump in. KI are looking to try and get on top of the Zaya, but a good Keeper's Verdict keeps the Kindred away, which means there's no respite for you. Style has the flash over the side. He jumps back in! Levi with the steal! Keeps Gam in this, but can they survive the fight afterwards? That's the question. The Lamb's respite will be just that, a respite before he falls down. And now Miru looking for Style, see if he can do it, but the because of blows are too damn strong. And the rest of the game will get themselves out alive. They gain the dragon, they lose two. Levi gets the steal, but R7 get the fight. And the resets are coming through. You can't stick around for the inhibitor. This would be too much. You got the uh, speed up coming out of the base. Guys, Cassie can guys, get in a flash. You need to leave. You need to leave, Rainbow Seven. They're going to look for the hex gates. They've got themselves Audi on the top right side of this, but they pushed in the mid lane now. So this is just the Gam just don't know where to go. They've overcommitted and they don't know how to stop it. Caddy got pushed out on the top side of the map, so he actually wasn't able to reset. So they couldn't get onto our seal on the bot side. Now now the bottom inhibitor is about to fall. Levi's pushing in the top side. Too far Miru spread. is a mid. You're very, very spread. Gam trying to consolidate all in the mid lane, but R7, they call the bluff. And it wasn't pretty, but they do manage to get a lot out of it. Still a minute left on the bar, and they're able to maybe break open another base. They're going to go in with the stolen ultimate, the knockback as well. They have to use the Lamb's Respite so early. The turret is still very healthy. They haven't killed that one off just yet. They're still trying to kill off the Kindred, and they will. Style gets the Immortal Shield, but Proc still has the shielding, and Style stays alive. The turret finally goes down. Bomb goes in, and will be taken out on the backside of this fight. But Seo is here with the rest of his team. These health bars are so low, and Rainbow, they may look for the end. Can they find the pot of gold at the end of this? R7 trying to see if they can find their first win Style. in the best of. Style looking for a Nexus turret number one down. Can they go for Nexus number no number two? They've got the minions for the moment. They still have Baron Buff for a couple of seconds. They need to try and make sure they keep everybody alive, but they've lost Alessandra. Now it's down onto the Zeri. Style needs to keep the VS VCS in this fight, but I don't think they can do it. And for the first...